of that energy? And what are the requirements from the grid side? Can I connect to the grid anywhere, or do I have to pay a certain amount? And the contract condition and the availability of information about the sites, about the radiation, about the wind site, and so on. The impact of such current policies, we expect such policies, when implemented correctly, will secure funding. The amount of funding required for the electricity sector is huge, as we mentioned earlier. And by diversifying the uh, resources, we'll be able to secure more funding, not only depending on the government budget. There will be improvement to efficiency. If subsidy is managed, if competition is introduced, this will provide good programs for improving efficiency on the supply side. DSM programs, other efficiency programs, will also impact the uh, demand side. We need to work into reducing subsidy. We cannot just eliminate subsidy. That will raise a lot of problems, social, political, you name it. But by uh, phasing it out, it can be done gradually and will be able to direct the subsidy to those who need it and not subsidize entities that do not need subsidy. We can reduce emissions by introducing renewables, by improving efficiency, DSM programs and so on will contribute substantially to this. And I think the IP and the IPB and the IWPP policies has to be modified to meet the requirements of this region and also to make the investors comfortable that they are coming to uh, an investment uh, area where everything is clear and is sustainable. And if it's not done correctly, it's going to, at a certain point of time, come into uh, confrontation between the suppliers and the users.